Hi, I'm Drew Taubenfeld, and you're watching The Duet Show, a show where I invite friends of mine to play music. And today we were playing music that we just wrote and we haven't even performed yet. So this is the first time the song has been in the universe. I'm really excited to have Jonathan Asperl today. Hey. Who, he's a great friend of mine, amazing guitar player, and he's up to all kinds of interesting things. One of the reasons I like him is not just about music, but he's always reading interesting books and having interesting conversations. <laughs> And he's just a fun guy to have around. And um, um, he's up to all kinds of things. But one thing that struck my attention was you're writing a, a, a TV show about being an immigrant in the music business. Yeah. And that just sounds an experience that is, is very interesting. I'm sure a lot of people would want to hear about it. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, I mean, I hope a lot of people want to hear about it. But um, yeah, I mean, it's been, I've been very lucky to kind of fall into an amazing opportunity coming to the States. and. Um, doing music and I thought I'm getting into something specific and you know the music industry is way more than just playing your instrument or just being you know it, it's there's so many things um, that are around that that I think I just at one point I started documenting and the more self-exploration that I did with myself I started to understand that this is kind of funny so <laughs> I uh, yeah I'm writing a show um, that kind of documents the whole situation and I hope that um, people would enjoy it and start, you know, asking themselves questions. It's a lot of questions about like value and, you know, like we play with like a lot of different people too and like something amazing about music that I think is fascinating and I think gave me a lot as far as just like my perspective is you meet new people all the time mm -hmm. from different backgrounds, from different places and you can connect on a specific level. And I think a big thing of the show is, um, you know, just the opportunity to see that we have more in common than not. You know, a lot of times we try to like, you know, separate ourselves in different ways. Um, and I just hope that through that show and through the, the different artistic things that I'm doing, people can, I don't know, understand that like we come together and, and and we share way more than we don't. And that's fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. The more, I, you know, I had the experience in college of learning jazz, but just kind of not feeling a hundred percent connected to it, and then hearing Bill Frisell for the first time, mm -hmm. and be like, oh, this is. I understand this music. Sure. And I, it's amazing how many people from all over the world that I've met that when they were 21 years old had the same exact right. experience right. with like a Bill Frizzell record. I mean, not, not to mention all other kinds of things, but that, sure. that's been something that's really amazing to meet people from Sweden. I met, I met someone from Sweden recently who had that same right. thing. He was like, I couldn't really get, I couldn't really get Wes Montgomery, but then I heard right. Bill and that was right. one. You know, right. so many. Right. I think some sometimes you have to see like, you got to see like, there's a path that you want from, it's too foreign to you. When someone, something is too foreign to you, there's, it feels like a wall sometimes, mm -hmm. but when you have the opportunity, and I think exposure is such a, is such a privilege. If you're exposed to things, and let's say Bill Friz Frizzell kind of connected different worlds that weren't like too jazz, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Miles did this, like a lot of like influential people kind of connected things that were accessible to some and put it up in the forefront kind of in a way. Sure. Um, so yeah, I think once you get familiar with certain concepts and ideas and you start being like, oh, okay, this doesn't seem too scary anymore. And then you kind of be, you are able to open yourself up to more, um, you know, a big, more ideas, you know what I mean? Fantastic. And a thing that struck me about you is how your curiosity and your reading and your personality really uh, seeps right through to your guitar playing. Oh, it's like very you, obvious. I feel the same about you. Well, thank you. Yeah. We're gonna play a new song that that um, that yeah I just sent you the other day. We wrote it uh, and you know this is just kind yeah. of this ref, to me reflects your personality, jovial and has a nice Let's bounce. Let's go. Right, here we go. <laughs> one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven,
Thank you for tuning into the duet show with the amazing Drew Taubenfeld, which I'm a big fan of. Um, comment, like, subscribe, follow our Instagram, follow our Twitter, follow our Snapchat, follow our Vine, follow our TikTok, whatever, whatever there is. Um, and yeah, leave us leave a comment what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what outfit Drew should wear, what outfit he shouldn't wear. Um, and yeah, thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun. <laughs>